Welcome to the Caribe Royale, home of the award-winning fine dining restaurant, The Venetian Room. We're pleased to be part of the Signature Chefs of Orlando podcast series. Our chef de cuisine, Khalid Bengalam, has twice been named one of the top 20 chefs in Central Florida. Today, he'll be demonstrating a few of our dessert recipes. We hope you enjoy. Welcome back to another episode of Signature Chefs of Orlando. Uh, my name is Khalid Bengalam. I'm the chef de cuisine at the Caribe Royale. Uh, all sweet hotel. Today we're going to be sharing with you one of our recipes that we use at the, the Venetian. It's, uh, it's, it's it may sound very hard, but it's not actually. If you follow all the steps, uh, we're going to do today a Grand Marnier souffle. All right? Everybody gets afraid of the word souffle, but as you're going to see, it's very very simple. First thing first, we're going to do our base. We got some whole eggs, okay? We're gonna add some granulated sugar into it. As we go, we're gonna keep on whisking so you don't have lumps into your souffle. We got some cornstarch. starch we're gonna miss mix it and here we get some whole flour we're gonna add a cup of milk into it at the restaurant we use a chocolate and Grand Marnier souffle but you don't have to do, I mean, this, this base we're going to teach you today, you can flavor it with whatever you want, meaning you can do uh, orange, you can do lemon, you can do strawberry, uh, coffee, all kinds of flavors you wish to do. All right, we got our base here. I'm going to keep on whisking till... There's no lumps. It's very important for the souffle or any pastry recipe in the matter to follow your recipe. Here we got some milk. I'm gonna try to bring it to a boil. And we got some sugar. Okay, we're gonna just bring it to a boil. Then we're gonna temper our mix when our milk and sugar gets into a boil. Meanwhile, we're gonna get our ramekins ready for the souffle. It's very important that you have these ready and done and in the fridge it will help you souffle rice really good okay so what we have here just some butter that we melted and we just go in our ramekin with the butter okay it's pretty simple then we do some granulated sugar this is a technique that we then you just go a roll over pretty simple it's very important to shake it so you get the excess sugar out of it and what you can do with your thumb just go like this so when you souffle rise it's gonna be nice and uniform okay our sugar and milk mixture let's get in there. Okay. Souffle is very important if you have people coming to your house and you gotta have be ready because Mr. Souffle is not gonna be ready for you. So the minute it's ready, it's ready to serve. Okay. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna temper 
our mixture. Tempering is just add a little bit of the liquid. You don't want to add too much, otherwise you're going to have scrambled eggs. You mix it. Okay. The recipe that we have is very nice and light. We don't like to use a lot of chemicals. Some people, they use creme de tartare or something in that matter where we don't. So now that you feel it's a little bit warm and you don't risk to scramble your eggs, you put back while you're whisking your mixture into the milk and sugar mixture, okay? All right, we're gonna bring this to a boil and we're gonna have to cook, of course, our cornstarch and flour. You don't wanna taste your uh, flour and cornstarch, that's why you gotta bring it to a boil so it cooks it. We have our ramekins ready and the next step is getting the mixture done. So I made some already earlier today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this thing over here, okay? Then this is our base. When it cools down, this is how it is, okay? Very simple. So what we're gonna do now, this is the base. This is when you come with your flavoring, okay? Meaning you can do, I, I, I've done strawberry, I've done vanilla, Gros Marnier, uh, chocolate, or sometimes we can do, you can do Gros Marnier and chocolate, you can do half chocolate, half Gros Marnier, and when they rise you get two different colors, or you call an arlequin. Okay, we're gonna add our Gros Marnier to it. Smells good. Orange liqueur flavor. We're gonna mix it. Okay. See, it's, it's nice and light. It's not like some of those recipes where your base is very thick and after dinner, you don't wanna have anything very, you know, heavy for your dinner. Okay. The next step for us is making your meringue. And you gotta have, this is one of the most important things is making the meringue. If the meringue is not nice and stiff, your souffle won't work, okay? So what we're gonna do, get some egg whites here. Then again, you can ha go to our website, thevenetianroad.com or the Crib Royale, then you can follow the link and you can Get the recipe, the full recipe. Then we're gonna do our uh, meringue. Okay. <laughs> 